All right. I've got a message for you, Pisces. You found this channel. You found this video for a reason. Right now, you're wondering about this love of yours. Something has gone on between you two. And you want to find out if this person is for you, if this person is meant for you. All right, so let's just get right into this. Your energy right now is very new. You've been doing some research online, trying to find this love of yours, trying to find this match. And it looks like you found someone who is going to be a lesson learned for you. He's going to teach you a lot of things about yourself, about your stamina, your personality, and how you grow as a person. All right, there's some things going on between you two behind closed doors that's going to eventually come to the light. All right, it's going to bring you so much joy to bring this out in the open. This love of yours is keeping you close to his side. He's treating you like a trophy of his, like a prize. Okay, you're something like a trophy wife to him. And this is something that you actually consider a compliment. It's something that you actually sought out for. You wanted someone who prized you above his own needs and concerns and it seems like he's able to find a balance between his personal needs and your own interests. What makes you happy? Okay. It looks like you've done a lot to get to him. You've done a lot of research and you may have gone through a lot of failed relationships and this work, this spell work that you're doing right now is leading you to this guy. So you have to make sure that the energy that you're manifesting is something that you definitely want to hold on to. Is a relationship that you definitely want to maintain. Okay. So... If you guys come into a situation where you're unhappy and you need to work out your issues, it's going to be really important that you talk to him personally, okay, rather than going out and seeking the advice of others. It's very important that you keep it between the two of you because this bond was created between the two of you. And so you don't want to start any, you don't want to start any conflict that you won't be able to resolve. You don't want to continue an abusive relationship that's perpetually under fire. All right. You want to sit in your very abundant queen energy. All right. No lack mentality. You don't want to go to him with needs like I'm not getting enough attention. You're not showing me enough love. So that's why I went out on a date with this other person or, you know, just really messy things like that. Because I feel like you put in a lot of work to find this person starting now and actually a lot longer then recently, it seems like this has been a lifelong journey for you. Once you get him, it's going to seem like you two were always together. He's going to be the most important thing in your life. And you don't want to lose it by behaving the way you behaved in the past with other relationships. 
Okay. This is not something you want to run from immediately. You want to bunker down and really work out your dilemmas and dramas and, you know, things that just happen in life because that is life. You're never going to find someone who is just completely perfect. We all have problems. That's the beauty of a relationship, having someone to work out those problems with. Okay, so I feel like you're planning to get married to, to this person. This is a dream of yours to be married. And you already look at the dress. You're already picking out the ring. You're already looking at venues and things that, you know, just make you happy to think about and fantasize about. Keep in mind that this is something that he's definitely going to be a part of, especially with the ring. He's going to find something that, you know, reminds him of you and builds a union between the two of you. You don't want to be too pushy in the sense that, you know, he doesn't have anything to control on his own as well. Start because it's something you enjoy, but be mindful not to put too much pressure on him. All right, I feel like you have a lot of energy right now, a lot of love in your heart. Just thinking about this love of yours, and it's really the most positive thing you could be doing with your time, is dreaming of your love. It's a very abundant energy, and it keeps you in a good mood, it keeps you positive throughout the day. So this is def definitely something you can continue and keep in mind that all these other guys who pull you aside and want to talk to you and take you off the market are responding to that love that you have for this person of yours, okay? They want to feed off of that energy that you're cultivating for your husband. Keep that in mind. Not to get distracted, to keep your thoughts on him, because this is something you care about. And as long as you're manifesting, it's going to come to pass. You just stay focused. Don't run away from your problems. Bunker down and be prepared to give your all, okay? This may be your first love, and it looks like it's going to be the last one.